Hey, 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 Superior Shave fans and other humans, how you doing this early morning on Memorial Day, Monday, May 31st? Happy birthday to Leah Thompson, Tom Berenger, Clint Eastwood, and anyone else with the birthday today or any other day of the year. Uh, why am I in my office on a national holiday on early in the morning? Well, I got here two hours ago for something because, oh, purely a coincidence. Some, someone was able to change the pointers of the site and at the same time the entire topic of what I was making in a video two days ago that referred to Badger and Blade and someone who wrote on Badger and Blade. Uh, every thread that's on there about that topic was locked or deleted and put it behind a paywall and now it just says Convex Club. <laughs> I'm sure it's completely a coincidence the site acting funny. No worry, I'll, I'll get that fixed. That's that's why you pay $700 a year so they can fix it after they say they that, that never can happen. I would like to know of the uh, Badger and Blade Convex Club if this was initiated by people that like the Hones, you're not going to be treated fairly inside of those walls. So I, I think it was something that they did because they want people to self-identify if they're even to look at or talk about that because um, Remember, this is a for-profit forum, this Badger and Blade. It's a for-profit forum, and the people that make the money at the end of the day, they don't want it said that convex hones and concave shaving edges is good or anything else like that. They're just going to squelch it. I think it probably has to do with the earliest people that were posting on there would always say that it has to be flat, and, um, you know, they, they don't want something written in stone on their site from people who have thousands of postings and are still active and then find out that they were wrong. Look, I'm just a guy trying to make a living, okay? I got fired from a 10-year job in 2009 by B&H, right at the, at the worst possible time to get fired, and I went into this, and then I was selling straight razors, uh, selling a lot of French straight razors, and the next year, the managing director from Thiers Assard, I was bragging to the customers how I had fixed the funny bevels and made them perfect triangles, I, and I was saying that over and over again with great confidence, like the morons on Badger and Blade, and the guy from Thiers, Thiers Assard, his name's David Loft, he was the former managing director, he called me and he put me, he took me to task and told me how wrong I was. He's like, you don't know anything, this is this old blah blah blah, and I was like, what? Okay. So then the next year, I went to Germany to meet many grinders, and I asked them about it every time, and they all said, yeah, he's right, that's what we do. So, you know, I'm just trying to make a living, man. I'm just trying to make a living. And, and when you when you have those flat things and say that the, the factory edge, which is this way but rougher, is can't be can't be uh, ever be used, and they just wipe off that factory edge and put a perfect triangle below and inside of that, and so on and so forth, you get the idea. You're limiting the ceiling of what the person at home can get because of insisting that the flat is the only way to be. It's just that there was no easy way at home to emulate a wheel. That's why I came up with the stupid invention thing, the plate. And you don't need my goddamn fucking plate. Go get your own plate. Go go find a lobster pot. I tell customers all the time, if you have a big old lobster pot and a cheap water stone and you can go like this, that will be a smaller cylinder than this 18 foot by six and a half foot. So the shortest I can get on this is a six and a half foot wheel. What's a lobster pot? Two and a half foot, something like that. Trust me, it'll be, it'll be sharper from the same stone. You know, you might take all day to form that stone that way. And then you got to go like this instead of going like this, not so easy. But once you get the hang of it, yeah, you, you, uh, low man wins. That's how it works. Low man wins. They, uh, in, the, in the height of this shit, they used to use wheels of four, six, eight, or ten inches in the United States. You know what it is now with the convex hones and all that? Uh, the guy that, that was told by the managing director of Thiers Assard 11 years ago, so who happens to be randomly just the, the, the stupid person that was doing something in large enough volume to get the attention of the Europeans that they would say something. Now on the shaving forum, you know who I am? I'm their local Voldemort. That's what I am. I'm the local Voldemort. Hon Honinist and honing that way is the local Voldemort topic. Can a new user be registered and say they support convex hones? Or is that permanently not acceptable? because that person would have known about the local Voldemort. Thank you. Uh, happy Memorial Day, guys. Bye-bye.